Lynn here. Hope everyone's having an amazing day. Now in this video I'm going to be sowing some bundle flower seed. Now these seeds were gifted to me by my fantastic friend Chris. Hi Chris. And I've never grown bundle flower before so this is going to be a bit of a fun experiment for me. And as you know it makes a bit of a change from my cacti succulent videos anyway. So um, let's get going shall we guys. Now what I've done, I've got two pots here. And the reason why I've got two pots is because I often say when I'm sowing my normal cacti succulent type of videos, my seeds there, that it's a good idea to have two pots. The reason being, if the one pot, God forbid, has fungus or mould in it, then you've got the second pot going, which is always just a little bit uh, good idea to have two. Plus I've got quite a few seeds as well. And normally, if I was doing my cacti and succulent seeds, I'd normally sterilise the soil first in the microwave. But with the bundle flower, they're, they're a bit more resilient to mould and fungi than cacti and succulent seeds. So in this case, what I've done is I've uh, mixed a bit of a soil mix. I'm using just a normal sort of horticultural type soil um, and a tiny bit of extra, extra sand in there as well for a bit of drainage. And I've lightly watered, lightly misted the soil here, so the soil is just damp. What I'm going to be doing then is sowing the seeds on the top, and then I'm going to be putting between quarter of an inch and half an inch of soil back on the top, and lightly misting them again. And then I'm going to be keeping them in my greenhouse, where it's nice and warm, in a nice sunny spot. And um, once they've germinated, obviously, when they get big enough, I'm going to be potting them on. And then because I'm here in Ireland and the winters are sort of very damp and cold, um, I'm obviously, you know, beginning of, um, so the very late fall, autumn, I'll be bringing these pots into the conservatory, I um, mean, to the house and overwintering, overwintering them then there. So um, hopefully it's going to germinate for me and I'll fill you in. So um, let's get going. Now the little seeds here, I'll just show you, they're quite amazing. And it's lovely because... Um, Chris actually collected these himself from um, Illinois, Illinois bundle flower, so it's going to be very exciting sowing these. And it's always extra special when you get friends online that gift you wonderful seeds from all different parts of the world. And then obviously when you're sowing them on, just sprinkle them on. It's always good to um, put them at least a few uh, centimetres apart, because if you sort of throw them all in one place, obviously they're going to, uh, when they germinate, they're all going to be growing into each other. And the, uh, the bundle flower, it looks a little bit like the uh, mimosa uh, plant. As you know, the mimosa is the one that uh, sort of touch and it, uh, it's a little, the sensitive plant as it's known as. And uh, this is wonderful here. So you sprinkle them all on so they're all apart, like so. And it makes a change from cacti and succulents anyway. <laughs> And a few more, I've got the other seeds kept onto the hand, like so. And then uh, we're putting on a sprinkling soil back on the top of it. So they say between quarter of an inch and half an inch, just enough to lightly cover the seed, but not uh, covering it too much where it's uh, completely shut off from any light at all. And just very gently press down and then um, I'm going to lightly spray this now. Now uh, obviously what I'm going to be doing is keeping this lightly moist. Don't With all seeds, no matter what you're sowing, never drown them because obviously seeds are very can rot, especially before they germinate. It's the last thing you want. So I'm going to be keeping this lightly moist. So that's that one done. I'm going to put that to the side and do this other one here. And again, a few seeds back here. Then sprinkling them all apart. Now this isn't a how-to video, guys, because this is the first time I've done this, so it'd be wrong for me to be saying it's a how-to. So uh, if any of you have sown bundle flower before seed and um, I'm doing anything wrong, I'm you know happy to hear from you, don't be afraid to say. <laughs> but um, that's that. All that spread out there. And again, sprinkle about a quarter of an inch. So half an inch of soil on the top, just enough to uh, to cover there. It's just about right. That's great. And um, 
Again, if this is a lightly spray. It's a good idea to use the sprayer rather than the watering can because obviously in the past I've sowed seeds and then I've used the watering can, it's just gone straight out again. The seeds come straight up to the top. And um, there you go, that's them both done. And what I'll do is I'll let you know what happens, whether they germinate or not, even if they don't, I'll fill you in in a, a few weeks' time. And apparently I've heard that uh, they can be, um, sorry, bundle flower can take anything from a week to a month to six weeks to two months to germinate. So as soon as they do, I'll let you know. And then after two months, nothing happens. I'll let you know either way. Almost forgot to say, not forgetting, obviously with all seeds, make sure you label what they are. As this case, does Mantis Illinois bundle flower and the date you've sown it, like so, like so. <laughs> and uh, there you go then. So thanks so much guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness and tons and tons of happy growing as always from Ireland and until my next video, bye!